Sit yourselves down and be quick. The road bids me onward, so let's speak to the straight. No doubt the barkeep spoke to you of my trek to the Madroot Marsh this past night, and by the worry I see hanging plainly on your faces, I wager you plan to journey there tonight. Listen well, for now you gain a boon for the terror that I faced. Move as silently and as swiftly as you may, and keep no flame torch for light. Do not enter any still water unless your choices are few or great fortune calls. Should your paths cross with a foul creature made of barbs and a giantest fist, keep your distance and only engage at range. And should the fates visit upon you a chance meeting with the great lizard that wanders these lands, <laughs> you should make haste as I did to flee such a foe. Here. A gift from Ramella, lieutenant of the Sacred Guard and member of the City Watch of Shyport. Though it now shows not to all eyes by candlelight, you will gain much knowledge when viewed under the light of the stars. It gives counsel on the manner of which to create a cat's claw smoldering torch, and it will be most vital to repel the foul pests which infest the marsh. And now I must depart this inn and seek the order of the Sable Sisters some ten leagues hence. My city has become plagued with fiends of unlife, and I go to seek the sisters' aid. I pray that both of our journeys meet with good fortune and good will, though. I fear this night will test your mettle much more than mine, so I give unto you any good grace that I have earned along the way. Good journey to you all. <laughs> so you decide to lay down for a nice rest, hoping to start out the, into the marsh in the morning. After saying goodbye to Ramella of the Sacred Guard, your group has decided to sample this rustic inn's narrow menu of stews, breads, and ales. You find much enjoyment and fellowship, and the innkeeper treats you to many mugs of frothy courage. It has been some time since your group relaxed with such mirth, but reluctantly, your party finally retires to its sleeping room and falls fast asleep. Some time later, you are all magically awakened by the good graces of a magic item you carry when a secret door opens inside your chamber. And coming through the secret door as you are waking up is the very innkeeper that just a few hours ago was so kind in offering you food and drink. He has marked you as easy targets and is snuck into your room to take advantage of you in the night. So it is time to roll some initiative. Uh, whoever my initiatives are is, let's have an initiative roll. I'm sitting at a 17. What have you got? Druid has five. Are we rolling, not, are we rolling individually what, yeah, or just one, one person? Yeah, one person's rolling initiative. Oh. I believe it is our elf wizard. Yeah, yeah whoever's yeah. got, oh, whoever's good, got the highest. Yeah, because it's not me. Okay, I got it then. <laughs> What you got, Elf Wizard? 10. A 10 is lower than a 17. He reaches out, slashing at our ranger. As you're gathering your gear quickly, you're not able to get your armor on completely. So you're going to be at a little bit of an AC penalty here, but you are able to grab your weapons. Ranger reaches out and strikes at the ranger for three slashing and two fire damage against you. Uh, you can also see that he has several bottles around his neck, and he's drunk from one. And now he's standing ready to fight. All right, everybody, go ahead and make your attack rolls or decide what you want to do. Bard, we are starting with you. What do you want to do? Uh, Bard goes for ranged attack. It's a hit for two damage. Excellent. Let me actually show you the combat stats so we know that it's a hit. So AC is 20 here. Two damage against him from afar as you take some cover behind the bed. Rogue, you are up. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's 15 melee, but 47 critical, uh, sneak attack. Oh, what? What? <laughs> God. All right. So the, uh, Heck. while the, uh, while everyone's like scrambling for their gear and the innkeeper's like deciding who to fight, the rogue sneaks around behind, jumping off one of the dressers, slashing this guy up for a serious amount of damage. All right. We'll take it. Elf wizard, you are up. Uh, I will cast an acid splash. 
You will cast an acid splash. Can the you strong tell me innkeeper, by the way. Can you, yeah. Can you tell me uh, what this is right here? It is mixology. It is master mixology. All right. How much damage? Six damage. Six damage of acid on this evil human. Druid, you're up. You I catch him with my crossbow. Sorry, for... 17. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was 17 acid. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Druid. What you doing? Crossbow for 10 damage. Crossbow hit for 10 damage. Ranger. Oh, yes. We are. I'm going to back up and attack for range. It says a hit for 21. Total damage, 26. You messed with the wrong lady. Excellent. 26 damage. Get him, coming at him. <laughs> Fighter, you are up. Uh, I, I, I stand up and immediately fall back down again with my pants <laughs> half on. I rolled a one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The fighter has stumbled in the background. Now, Paladin, who are you guarding in this room in case they get attacked? I am going to guard the rogue because I feel like that attack is not going to go unanswered. <laughs> that was pretty serious. All right. I like that. And, All right. Go ahead and make your attack. Uh, I hit for 16 damage. 16 damage. How about Barbarian? You're up. <laughs> Ah, uh, it takes me a while to wake up, but I leap up 38 damage. <laughs> oh, there we go. Another huge smashing hit. Barbarian, as you swing into the innkeeper, he stumbles backwards into one of those dressers. There's there's things falling on the ground, making quite a racket in this room. Uh, dwarf Fighter brings us to you. Bring it up the rear. Messing with our sacred right to get drunk offends me. I come around for a hit of 19 damage, please. All right. Dwarf Fighter rolls in from below, bellowing cries about beer and ale smashing in for 19 points of damage uh he you see his eyes sort of widen as he realizes he may have uh picked the wrong group to fight but he knows he's sort of in it now so he steps forward swinging his weapon at the rogue uh paladin steps forward to take the hit instead paladin you are struck for three slashing and two fire and you can see he drinks from the uh, canteen around his neck. You're not quite sure what it does for him, but it certainly does him some sort of good, some sort so of benefit. I gain damage resistance three while I'm guarding. So if he hit me for three, that means he hit me for nothing, correct? Absolutely. So he hit you for a total of five, three slashing uh, and two fire. But yeah, you're, you're right. You would uh, you'd negate that three. So got it. It's, two it's fire. the power of friendship. That's right. <laughs> uh, Bard, we're, b we're back to you. Uh, He's starting to bleed from several different cuts all over his body. You guys have done some significant damage to this guy. What you got, Bard? Uh, nothing. I hit a bad note, and I missed. Oh, no. The note sours. Everyone sort of looks over at you for a second, distracting them. Rogue, what you doing? Uh, I got an 11 damage for melee and uh, right. six sneak attack. All right. Didn't you sneak attack the first round? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so yeah, so 11 damage, still good damage. Uh, you see him, he sees you now, no sneaking around this time. Elf Wizard, what do you want to do? The Acid Splash seemed to work well last time, let's do it again. It did, blast them with more acid. What's this? Uh, that is uh, Tempology. That is Tempology. How do you know? Genius. So what is that, what was 11 or 16? What was that, 16? Uh, it is 17. 17. How about our uh, regular wizard? Did I skip you last time, regular wizard? I believe so, but I've been biding my time carefully, measuring Let's my do it. Yes. Bring it, wizard. Um, I shall be using my fire dart. Fire dart. Can you tell me what this is? Any idea? Um, hold on. Yes, that's the, the study of herbology, my good man. It is, certainly. How much damage do you do with him? Um, well, that's a great question. I'm clicking fire dart. I passed the skill check, yes? You did, you did. I and so I just do cast spell, and that's 13 fire damage, baby! 13 fire <laughs> yes. damage. You can see his cloak begins to burn. Excellent work. He's beginning to back away from you. This is not what he expected. Uh, Druid, what do you got? Uh, I level my crossbow once more and hit for 10 points of damage with that crossbow shot you've actually pinned him to the wall uh you, you you grazed his shoulder but now his cloak his robes are stuck to the wall right behind him he's trying to wiggle wiggle free as he's now on fire stuck to the wall barbarian <laughs> smashing him he's stabbed in the back by the rogue uh ranger that brings us to you what do you want to do um i hit again for 20 damage 
That is too much damage for him to take. Fighter, Paladin, Barbarian, and Dwarf, I know you have been waiting to strike true on this creature, but the Ranger strikes were good enough to bring him down. You have successfully defeated this evil innkeeper looking to take yeah, advantage right. of you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You think about that. But nice as he dies, he, prizes. he falls down, <laughs> knocking into that dresser, and a candle, a lit candle, falls on the ground. You should have blown it out before you went to bed. The dry wood of this inn lights on fire, very quickly spreading. You're, you're gathering up your gear, wondering how you're going to get out. You can hear the screams and crackles. The door is hot. You run out through that secret passage, hoping to find a, uh, a way out into the marsh uh, hopefully this will lead away from the away from the burning in itself and keep you safe all right anybody take damage if you want to do some healing you've got about a minute to heal has oh actually you don't looking. that's the horn that is the hunter's horn so no no more healing for you. I shout Hopefully a quick just... warning to our fellow guests at the inn. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> I will say, we set him on fire several times. I love that there the candle did There was lots of fire. It. Yeah, I'm going to note to write to corporate about their business model of having... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they... Yeah, a creepy innkeeper? Well, he needs to be reported. Maybe the inn well, looks like a horcrux, like place. it had to die with him. I'm sorry, this is completely inappropriate. He got us drunk for free because he thought he was going to rob us, so I feel like, all things considered, it's a good day for us. But why would you attack, so like, no. ten people? <laughs> I don't know why we're all in he one thought, room. Yeah. I just big risk, big money. reward, I guess. Economy. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a cuddle puddle. It's That's the, that, that's our whole team ambiance. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, you do cuddles. see some light. <laughs> you see Barbarian some light the up, smoke fills up your ahead. Nostrils. Enter a storeroom in hopes of finding a way out of the blazing inn. You are relieved to find an exit door, but you are horrified to see a prisoner locked within a large iron cage. Leave him. Surely the captain <laughs> will perish if Paladin. you do not open the cage. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be the good one. Leave him. Oh, eat him. Hey, hey, sir. Please don't leave me in here. I don't want to die. What'd you do? Here, take this coin. Oh, money. I was using it to Sit with the lock, see if I could get out of here. But there is no lock, it's just a knob. I thought maybe you could use it for some sort of perspective on the situation. I don't know, but I do know how to open that door and I'm the only one who can do it. Mm. So please let me out of here and we can escape together, alive and save this town. Just don't let me die. Your adventure begins. <laughs>